Alright, so, let me adjust the volume. Okay, we're good. Alright, so, uh, Hulkbuster review. Yeah, reviewing toys again. Imagine that. This is probably going to be a one-time thing. <laughs> Uh, I got a new backdrop, as you can see. It makes it really nice for videos. Um, yeah. So here's Hulkbuster. He's a very nice, very nice uh, figure. He's from the Iron Man 2 concept line. From the movie Iron Man 2, blah, 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 concept. Um, in the comics, this was used to beat down Hulk and then was ripped in half by the uh, Juggernaut or something like that. Go look it up, you'll probably find more than I can. But, uh, yeah. So, on to the review. Um, start with the, well, colors, I guess. I don't know. I don't know if my camera's really picking up that well. Oh, there we go, yeah. As you can see, this and this are a totally different red than this. This is more like a maroon color. Well, this is a nice metallic -y red. Oh, all of this silver and gold back here, I did myself. As you can see on the spine, I didn't do that great. So, I need to fix that, but... No one's going to see the back of the figure anyway, so ha 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 ha. Um, yeah. There's a lot of nice gold on it. That this the that gold I did myself, but that gold, all of it's there. It has really nice molded detail, like where the repulsors would be is molded, even though Hulkbusters doesn't have repulsors. There's like nice silver on the arms, and uh, that's really it for detailing anyways. Uh, for articulation, oh, so the head, actually, the, uh, head, really finicky, doesn't like to move. It's on a, like, a, just a simple swivel side-side, side-to-side movement kind of joint. There's some mold flash that in mine, so it doesn't really turn that well. The arms only go out that far because of the shoulder pad, only go forward and back so far, again, because of the shoulder pad. Elbow bends, elbow rotates on its own, and then the wrist rotates on its own. So, there's that. The waist has an ab crunch, but it's not that great. It only goes forward and back that much. The waist only goes side to side that much. And don't force it, you'll scratch the paint. Legs are on that weird marble joint where you can go side to side, or if you rotate the joint out, it goes forward and back. Well, sort of forward and back anyways. I, I prefer it in the side to side because it allows for more natural just standing there thing, uh, pose. Knees are double jointed, though the movement of the joints isn't that great because of the, fa the way the leg is designed. It just kind of hit bumps into each other, so. You are getting a double joint, but it's not that great of a double joint. And the ankles rotate and have forward and back swivel or yeah swivel That's really it as for size comparisons well here he is next to another concept Iron Man the uh what is that hyper velocity Iron Man let's shine my light down a little bit hyper velocity Iron Man as you can see, Hulkbuster is a little bit taller. Not that much, though. He's a lot thicker, though. And then here he is next to a clone tripper, who is so tiny. So very tiny. Let's get those out. Okay. So for accessories, he comes with a stand. A typical Iron Man 2 stand. It with this guy like Typical Iron Man 2 stand has a hole, he has a foot, a peg, and he can stand even though he didn't really have problems standing before. Now you're wondering, oh, what's that little section for on the side end thing there? Well, that's where these come in. It's kind of hard to see what they are now, especially because of the fucking glare from my lights. Turn that back a little bit. But when you um, put them on top of each other, Oh hey, it's a card of Hulkbuster. Yay! Has that oh well no autofocus apparently, but it has Iron Man card on in the side. But that doesn't do anything. 
it just links to uh, the Marvel site. And I'm assuming these were for like some sort of game where you would enter the code on the computer and then be like, oh, I have Hulk, Velocity, Buster, man. But obviously, they never went through with it. You just... It's finagly at best. It's really funky to get the cards into the slot right. Slots right. It takes a little doing. Because the cards are essentially like clear plastic, they want to stick to the cardboard card. But yeah, you get that, and it's like a faux 3D effect. It doesn't really work for Hulkbuster. It works better on other ones, but yeah. You slap your Hulkbuster on the, uh, the stand, and normally you'd be able to actually see the iron cards, but because of uh, Hulkbuster's immense size, you don't see sh shit. But yeah, there's Hulkbuster. Um, I might be doing more reviews depending on how this one, the reception this one gets. Yeah, that's really it. Nothing more to say about that. Bye!